Hello and welcome to new project of Fuji and extend sheet metal design. We'll be doing project 4. This is project 4. It's a cover and the sheet thickness is 2mm. Uh, material is CRCA and K factor we are given is 0.43. So it has lot of flanges, lot of lures, then cutouts bends, hem, then beads, punches, it will be very interesting. Just to remind you the workflow that first we will be uh, doing a preference setting of the sheet metal part, then we construct the base features and add bends and flanges, then we unbend and add punch, die and cutouts, then rebend it again and create flat pattern and finally we detail the part. So first step is preference settings. Material given is 2mm and the bend radius is 2mm. Neutral factor is 0.43 and relief depth and relief width is 2 each. We will be doing the one half of the part since we can mirror it. So first when we create tab, we will create a tab with 308 into 174.8. 3 divided by 2 that is the width we are cutting it half. After that we will create a flange of height 106.3 mm. Then we will be adding few flanges on this both the sides which is 16.6 mm each. And after that we will do a 3 brand corner at two places. Simultaneously we'll, it will be metering the flanges. After that, we will create a closed loop hem flange with radius 1 and length as 2.2. A limitation of NX is that we cannot define the entire length. So, we have to go to modeling application. This is one way to do it. You can either cut it also. But I prefer going to model application than using synchronous mod modeling command one of the synchronous modeling command as pull face and I'll be pulling it to 6.3980 in this direction and we'll get this final dimension. Once that is done I'll be creating a dimple with the dia 58 and this is the reference. Uh, I would suggest you take the printout of the drawing which is uh, in the drawing folder and open the part project 4. Then we have to create, uh, we will be patterning that dimple along this direction at a distance of 130.8. After that, we will be creating a flange here based on the dimension. Then we will be creating one more flange at end. That is 27.4 and 104.3 height on the both the sides. And one more flange will be created at 18 mm. Next we will be putting holes on both the sides. Next we will be adding beads. Once one bead is done, we will be... Uh, patterning the beads. Once we pattern the beads, we put hole in the middle of the bead. Next we will be creating lures. Once a lure is formed, then we will be patterning it as per the dimension given in the drawing. After that, we will add a cutout. That is a normal cutout. Then we will be adding flanges to it. After that, we will be uh, doing normal cutout of vent holes. First, we will put a center hole here. Then, we will create an extrude cut. Once that is done, we will pattern that extrude cut along this axis, center hole axis. 
then we'll put four holes here next we'll be mirroring I mean uh, patterning that doing a linear pattern in this direction once that is done we have completed all the features then it's it's now time to mirror the body we'll select the body and then mirror along an axis once mirroring is done it's a separate body so you need to unite it once unite once united it will be a, a single body and it's easy to do a flat pattern when you do a flat pattern you will get this flattened sheet now i'll show you how to do it in ugnx time